Dead Linux here. Um, still playing Minecraft 1.0, 1.0.0, or whatever the release current release is. And when we last left off, we just saw an NPC village and uh, attacked a few mobs with an enchanted sword, which I still have in, in my hot little hand here. And um, was going to get set up and start getting things um, going like they should be in Minecraft. So I did. And so I've made a few changes. By a few, I mean I've done quite a bit. So let me show you kind of the walk around here and give you kind of a, the little tour. Here we got an indoor reed farm, which I've been using to make the bookshelves you've got yonder. Um, I actually stole a, I didn't steal a trick, but I was watching CoStar's videos about uh, alternating the uh, water blocks um, in the reed farm to make it a little bit more efficient. So you can actually, oh, geez, and here I'm falling backwards so you can't see anything. As opposed to having like one stream of water in the middle and having all the reeds around the outside, and vice versa, I'm, I'm interspersing them in the middle there so that I can have more reeds all around. And then I actually have water hidden on along the sides here, which is why I'm able to place a reed uh, here. Let me make sure you can see this a little bit. Um, there we go. Underneath those cobblestone blocks is a water block, and it's actually running in a channel. It's all hidden there, so I can actually place uh, reeds all the way along, and they won't pop off because they've got water right next to them, even though you can't tell. So it works pretty well. And then I've got alternating water blocks in the middle of the uh, farm here, so that we've got um, a nice little pattern. So in here, I'm able to collect quite a few uh, for the space. And that's all I really wanted. I just wanted to grab that one little piece. Have any more just falling in there? Nope. Good. So yeah, so I use that. Got the crafting table here and make myself some bookshelves for the enchanting table, which actually is doing pretty well. If you check this out, um, we can get up into the uh, almost to the 30s. Yep, we can get up into the 30s here. So not that I have that much experience at the moment, but um, I've got I've got enough bookshelves around to get that high. Now, can you get higher? Of course you can. But I think that's pretty good for just having a little tiny enchantment table there. And I've got that little water in the back and glowstone block in the top. So yeah, I've been to the nether a little bit. So I'll show you around there. This is my mine shaft we showed you before going all the way down to bedrock. Um, and here's the nether portal. Um, so um, this is where I was able to get the glowstone. It's kind of a pain. There's not much to see there. All I did was basically plunk some stone down so I could get by. Um, and then this is the beginning of my branch mine. So I found an abandoned mine shaft finally down this one, and then realized that all underneath here, underneath everywhere where my house is, is a huge um, network of caverns and things. So it's it's pretty intensive. It's pretty extreme, but there's a lot of lava. It's not as many ores as I thought there'd be. Um, but exciting nonetheless. So here we'll go out and show you where I had before. So here's the little outside bit. Um, uh, the entrance got blown up by two creepers in tandem. I swear they were working together. And they managed to just completely destroy the entryway here. Right in broad daylight too. As far as I'm concerned, I think it was daylight at the time. And they jumped jumped right down here and then decided to blow up in my face. I hate that stupid little creeper shovel that they do where you you want to hit them head on like any other mob and then they do this little side step so you can't get to them and then that's when they blow up. So it's a pain. Anyway, oh, I'm sorry. This is the house that I built so far. So we got s alternating wood and some stone and yeah, you're real excited. Anyway, there's the dog there from before. And got some paintings up here. I'll show you the outside. Check this out this little bridge here. Um, using stairs along the side to have this nice little rail that you can walk right over. And um, that's the setup. So alternating blocks, have a grass roof on the top, use a little bone meal to get some grass growing. I'd take that back. No, I had to connect the the dirt blocks with the rest of the dirt blocks on the hillside back there to get the grass growing on top, but then the tall grass I used bone meal. Once there was already grass, like regular grass growing on it. Whatever. And over here, you see, I have this very strange monument to some god that we've never seen before with some weird nose and... No, it's just me screwing up on a mob tower. Uh, this is kind of an XP farm sort of deal that I stole from Minecraft Fox. 
So the mobs fall from a height of about 23 or 24 blocks high, and then they land this little pad if they survive, and then they're one-hit beauties. Oh, or two-hit, and um, you can hear the nice crunching sound, which is just wonderful to hear. And then you just walk around the whole block and collect. Um, this is glass panes on the top here. This is a half slab or a slab, and then a full block. That's about the height. And then you can hit the mobs, as you can see there, and then you can get close enough underneath the panes to grab all the items and the XP orbs. But what I really wanted to show you is that this is like default Minecraft setup as you'd see in any of the other Let's Play. So I've got, um, I've got some tools. I've got some enchanted armor. I've got some. Show, I've got my sword here. I've also got a diamond sword. Got some stuff going on here, but what I really want to do is move. I'm kind of getting sick of this area here, because as much as I love the swamps, I mean, the swamps are pretty cool, I have to admit, but I'm getting kind of tired of the, the dark, dreary dampness. I think I want to move where we saw that NPC village, so what I'm going to do is help my little dog here. Hey, you listening to me, buddy? Hey, do you? We'll be taking off. Right. Oh. Oh, hello. Things have changed. Hello, Mr. Pig. Yeah, I just switched texture packs. Um, I found this one on Minecraft forums, and actually it looks really good. Uh, this is steel feathers, I believe. Before I screw that up, let me just show you. Oh, actually, no, I can't do it. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, steel feathers enchanted pack. There you go. Uh, I'll put the link in the description in case you want to start using it, because I think this is actually really good. Um, I used to use Dokocraft all the time, and this is not a bad replacement. So anyway, we're about ready to take off for our little journey. Um, I didn't even see to, uh, check to see what time it was. Um, oh, sun's still high in the sky. Um, so let me see if we've got everything we need, huh? So I've got some wooden planks, I've got my bookshelves, I've got my recipe book, which that mod has also been updated, and you may have noticed I had the mini-map working too. I have my shears, I have a, a single bucket, but I've got a bunch of iron ingots, a stack of iron ingots, some bones, some stack of redstone, some sugar canes, some TNT, because you never know, uh, saplings, seeds, coal, string, my enchantment table, I've got an iron axe, I've got an iron shovel, I've got another iron axe? Why do I need two of them? I got my pickaxe. Oh, and I've got a enchanted diamond sword. Thank you very much. We got our map. I don't think I need. I don't need a almost broken axe. That's that can stay. So we'll get rid of that. So we can organize these things around. Um, I have more books to make more bookshelves when I get that opportunity. Um, oh, I can take those sugar canes. And um, let's see. There's an iron sword there. Let's see an iron pick. Yeah, I probably should take an, the iron pick so mine doesn't get worn out. Uh, and I think that's it. More food. I got a stack of zombie flesh, so we should be fine with that. Take more of the iron. That'll work. So I think we're ready to go, buddy. You think? I think so. So here we go. I've also got a secondary bed. So I think time to leave this place. Can you come out, buddy? Come on. Let's go. Lock up the shop. And if I remember the map, it's straight north. So here we go. by water even. This will be good. So, I wonder if they'll mind me hacking apart one of their logs just so I can make a chest quick. That's the one thing I didn't bring. Um, excuse me. Do you remember me? Hey, buddy. I'm going to take some of your log. You don't care. <laughs> God, they're such jerks. Give me just a couple of these suckers. Uh, I'll just do this, do this, that, this. So now I can take those back. Um, this is the blacksmith's house, isn't it? 
Yeah, there's not enough room to do... Well, no one else is here. I'm probably the best person to know how to do this stuff. Oh, oh, that's right. Come on in here, buddy. Come on. Stop jumping like a maniac and get in here. There we go. Good dog. So, oh, I need a crafting table first. Shoot. Achievement get, of course. Um, let's throw that out for a second. It's really hard to get stuff kind of um, set up here. Let's see, do that. Then I need... Okay, then we'll just do this, this, that. It's really hard working with a full inventory. I'm not used to it. Okay, so get rid of this stuff here, and we'll be able to make some things happen. Okay, so I need uh, my bed, and I need to find a place to put it. Preferably before nightfall. Um, and this place doesn't look safe at all. Uh, let's see here. Maybe... Can I just do it like... Can I put it right here? Oh! No! Wrong thing. That was my... Chapman table. Shoot. That's what I wanted. Right there. Can I do... Can I put my bed there? Yes, I can. But I need to put some torches in this room. And this will not... be very kosher. Do I have enough to make a door? Because evidently they don't believe in doors in this place. Um... Uh, no. Okay. I need to hack apart some more of their poor, precious wheat farm that sucks. I'll make more. I still feel really bad about it. But, it'll get us by for the night, and that's all that really matters. So, I need to... Wow, the crafting table looks a lot like a enchanting table, or enchantment table. So we'll do this, do this, okay. I don't like having to do that, but you know what? They needed doors anyway. Really. Okay, do I have any room left in this chest for stuff? No, nope, I don't. Uh, ooh, I could make it bi- I can't make it bigger, because I'm made it too small. Well, let's just sleep for the night, and at least that'll reset my spawn, and I'll keep setting off this dang pressure plate, which is a table. Pretty much. But, we'll have my diamond sword on me for the evening, I have my dog to protect me, and, um... Should be okay. Ooh, on the map it looks like there's lava nearby too. That's good. Okay, so we successfully made it through the night. So we'll use this as a setup. The dog will be safe in there. And let's see what we can do. Well, I think that's enough for now. We're kind of set up, or not set up, but we've got um, got our stuff. We brought our stuff along. We've got a chest. We've got our save point set. And looks like we do have a tree or a forest nearby. We've got a place where I can put the rest of my reeds, so I can continue making that. And I'm not going to keep taking over their houses. I feel kind of bad doing so. Um, just because it's just kind of rude. You know, if, I, if this were a regular NPC game, uh, or RPG, you wouldn't want to take over NPC's house, would, would you? I wouldn't. Ooh, lava. Love it. Love it. I love having lava nearby, because then you can do stuff. I don't know what, but we'll think of something. I forgot to bring dirt. Oh, that's okay. We'll have some nearby. So, so that's it for now. We'll be working on this spot here, getting ourselves set up, so I won't spare you the gory details, or I'll spare you the gory details, and um, we'll see you next time. So, take care. I also hope for bringing back the, uh, the other world that I had, the 1.8 world, and this water's not really moving, is it? Interesting. Bring back my 1.8.1 uh, world with industrial craft, uh, equivalent exchange, and build craft installed. I hear a spider. And and playing with that for a while, since I'm missing them, and mods aren't up to date yet. So I kind of want to play with that a little bit as well. So stay tuned. And I'm...